and thank you for choosing Kinetic Coasting. In today's tutorial, I will be showing you how to install mods on your Minecraft server. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into this, shall we? First things first, we need to know what we're running on our server. So regardless if this is Fabric, Forge, NeoForge, or Quilt, or any other mod loaders as well, we need to have those installed on our server. In today's tutorial, I will be using Minecraft Forge. So now what we're going to do is head to the version installer on the left hand side of the kinetic panel and click on that. On the top right here, click on the vanilla drop down menu, then click on Forge or whatever version you need. In my tutorial today, I will be using Forge 1.21. So let's go ahead and click install and then install. Now go ahead and head to your console page and then power on your server once. This is so that your server can generate anything that it needs, like the mods folder or any libraries that it will also need. The first way to install mods on your Minecraft server is using our mod installer on the Kinetic panel. On the left hand side in the game rules category, go ahead and go to the mod installer section here. Select the Minecraft version your server is running, the loader version your server is running, and then what website from Modernth or CurseForge. In my tutorial, on since I'm using Forge, I had to click the Forge drop-down menu for Minecraft 1.21. Next, you can scroll down and find any mods that you'd like to use. For example, I'll just be installing Spark on my server, so I'll click the Select a Version drop-down right here, and find the version of Spark for 1.21 that I want to use, then click Install. A pop-up right here will appear saying the Spark mod is now installed. Now if we head to our file manager and go to the mods folder, you will see Spark is right here. So that is one way to install mods on your Minecraft server. Now let's go ahead and go to the second way that you can install mods. Alright, now head to the file manager and you should see a bunch of things here. So go ahead and just open that mods folder by left clicking on it. And now let's go ahead and find the mods you'd like to download. In the sake of today's tutorial, I will be using the Waystones mod. The reason for this is it also requires a dependency called Balm for it to work correctly. So go ahead and open Balm in a new tab. So what we're going to do is click on Files on the Mods page, and you will see there's different game versions and different loader versions. As always, I'll be using Forge for today's tutorial, and then the game version 1.21. So go ahead and click on the three dots right here, and then click Download File. Now that it's downloaded, we also need to download Balm for the game version. So go ahead and go to files and then download balm for the same version that your server is running and what you're going to do is you're going to upload these mods into your file manager so go ahead and drag and drop and upload these mods into your mods folder now assuming you got to this step there are a few things we'd like to note here make sure you do have all the dependencies that all of your mods need for the sake of today's tutorial the only one i need for the waystones mod is balm some mods will fail to load in this case, you either can't use this mod, or you will have to find a different working version of that mod for that Minecraft version that you want to use. There are also client-only mods. There's one called Sodium that does not work on Minecraft servers because it's client-only and it only improves the client's performance. And versions for loaders. Make sure the mods are the exact same version as your server loader. So if I'm running Forge 1.21, all of the mods need to be Forge.121, otherwise they will not work. Alright, now that that is out of the way, let's go ahead and start our server, and everything should be working as intended and as normal. Depending on how many mods you have installed though, your server will take a little while to start up. But as you can see here, my server is starting up without an issue, because I don't have any client-side mods, or mods that are failing to boot here. We will have our knowledge base linked in the description of this video, so you can learn a bit more about everything mentioned already. But that is how you install mods on your Minecraft server. If this video has helped you out, make sure to smack that like button and subscribe for future tutorials. Thank you so much for choosing Kinetic Coasting and watching this video, and we will see you around.